It's the latest rich man's toy with lightweight and lots of power. It's the Lotus 211. <laughs> when the original convention busting Elise came out 10 years ago, its featherweight nimble handling was a revelation. But like most things, as time goes on, the Elise has become a little fatter. Well, now they've gone back to the original Elise weight of just over 700 kilograms. Except this time, they've given it twice the torque and twice the power. Now, Lotus reckon they've got enough capacity to make about 100 of these 40 grand cars a year. And they're at pains to point out it's perfectly road legal and surprisingly easy to drive on the road. Apparently, track day enthusiasts take great pride from being able to say they drove to the track. Skating down the motorway in a funny little thing like this, well, it's all part of the adventure. Personally, I can't see the appeal of flies in my teeth. Get yourself a trailer, lads. comes from a supercharged 1.8 litre Toyota engine, producing 252 brake horsepower. That's about the same as a Porsche Boxster, but in something that weighs about the same as a Leaf. Now one of the great things about this supercharged engine is it's got plenty of torque, 250 newton meters. So you don't have to be revving it to get the car off the corner. You've got great throttle response. You can feel the engine straight away through your feet. Here we go. Power. It's very, very responsive. Now, 60 comes up in 3.8 seconds. It will do 100 in just under 9. At top 150 miles an hour. It's a very, very quick car. And there's one characteristic about all Lotuses, which are generally brilliant, and that's their steering. And this car is no exception. It's just so accurate. As near a racing car as you can get, where you've still got compliance and still got something which you can drive on the road. I mean, the chassis is fabulous. You know, this is the sort of car where I'm not that bothered about showboating and oversteering. I just want to go quick. You know, exactly the same feelings I have when I'm racing the car. They've got it right. It's brilliant. There's a smart gadget fitted to this car, a variable traction control. Now, rather than just turning it on or off, you can dial it to one of 30 different levels. Okay, now we'll go about halfway. of oversteer and now yes we'll turn it off so no traction control <laughs> it's a great system and means you can now tailor your car precisely to suit your own driving ability now that's fun during development, the engineers jumped in the 211 prototype, drove 600 miles to France, entered a race and won it. Then drove home, complete with the trophy, in the passenger seat. That sums up perfectly what this car is all about. It's user-friendly and not so hardcore that you need to be a professional to enjoy it. But you will need to be an enthusiast with a few quid. Because remember, it's going to cost you 40 grand. Sometimes the mightiest cars aren't the biggest, or the most powerful, but the lightest.